Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have an amazing weekend and uh, it's Sunday again, so that means a new video from me. Um, so today I am going to try out some new makeup that I've collected over the uh, last couple of weeks and uh, I'm going to put it on my face and uh, we can see how it performs and what I think of it. I don't have uh, new makeup products for every step of my uh, normal makeup routine uh, but if I don't have new makeup products I will um, put an old favorite in or a product that I don't use very often so I can switch it up a bit so you don't see the products every single week uh, again. So I've already put my hair up in a bun. I have no makeup on my face as you can see. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. For my primer, I am going to use a product from The Ordinary and I need to turn it this way because there's the label. And this is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. I haven't used this one in a while, so I'm gonna use it again and uh, see why I didn't use it for that long. So I'm gonna just put a little bit on my hands and I'm gonna spread it around my face. So I don't know if you noticed, but um, I redid my whole blog. So uh, if you haven't done that yet, or you haven't seen it yet, I mean, then uh, you can go to www.actuallyanna.com. I'll put it below here. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. I, um, I built it all myself, so uh, I'm very excited to see what you think of, uh, of my new blog. The old blog posts are still there, don't worry. I just read it the whole layout, so very excited to think you uh, to see what you think um so I put the primer on my face and now I'm gonna use some uh, foundation and I have a new one I actually wrote a blog post uh, on these products from Inika because that's the brand for uh, uh, that's the foundation brand I already um, wrote a blog post about that and I posted it last Wednesday so I'll link that below as well so you can uh, read it uh, but I thought it would be a nice idea to show you how the products perform and how they apply because from a blog post that's hard to see right so um, I use the shade porcelain which is I think the lightest shade in the range um, we initially thought I was nude or cream but um, yeah, in the end we tried and then I was porcelain. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put this on my face and I'm gonna use an Imani um, buffer brush. So disclaimer, I've already tried this product uh, a couple of times just to test it out and to write the blog post, but I wanted to show you on camera how it works. So I'm gonna put one and a half pump on uh, my brush. And then I am going to spread it over my face. Like I usually do a little bit more around the jawline because that's where I have a lot of um, imperfections. And now I'm gonna just use round buffer motions to buff this concealer in to my skin. Don't forget the neck as well. This product has quite high coverage or like a good medium, I would say. And maybe fun fact, they've used Inika, uh, Inika Cosmetics on um, New York Fashion Week last year, which is very nice because it's a completely vegan, organic, halal brand. And um, yeah, I think it's one of the first times that they've actually used um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, uh, to my knowledge, it's actually the first time that they use a vegan cosmetic brand um, at New York Fashion Week. So, and this, I think I forgot to say the name, is the liquid foundation with hyaluronic acid. And that's exactly why I use it, because my skin is quite dry, especially in the winter. And the hyaluronic acid, like... My skin loves hyaluronic acid, so um, yeah, it's a perfect match for my skin. So I now buffed it all in. So 
So now I can just go in with my uh, usual Catrice camouflage cream. This one. And I will... <laughs> I'm actually never able to open this, even not in the morning, which is very frustrating. All right, so I usually use my fingers and put this just in the inner corners to basically give myself a wake up bright um, presence. Because <laughs> usually it's very early when I go to work. Um, so this really helps to camouflage my bags. There we go, you can always see like brightness underneath the eyes. Now I am going to use the L'Oreal Infallible um, Pomade, 24 hour concealer pomade, that's what it's called. And I am going to put this underneath my eyes. On the tip of my nose and around my nose on my chin and on my forehead and i'm gonna buff this out as well so there we go all right i um i think i'm gonna adjust the lighting a bit because i think it's a little bit too bright Yes, I think this is better. Um, it's always a bit <laughs> searching for the right lighting uh, when it's like gray or dark outside. So I think this is better. Um, I am gonna, um, now before I'm gonna set my makeup, I'm gonna do something different. And with, this is one I haven't used in a while either. This is Becca Moonstone, but this is the liquid version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some on my cheekbones on the bridge of my nose eyebrow bone cupid's bow yeah that's basically where i would put my uh, powder highlighter but i'm now gonna do the liquid one first and then do the powder highlighter after i applied all the powder so I have basically a double highlighter. I'm gonna tap this in with my fingers and as you can see, it's already nice, nice and glowy. And I try to tap it in quite randomly, not really in a stripe because I don't want that stripe effect. I just want a nice glow on the top of my cheekbones. All right, so a nice glow as you can see. And now I'm gonna set my makeup and I'm gonna use even more glow because I'm gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Light uh, light Lighting Powder. <laughs> there we go. The Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. Um, I'm just gonna put some on my brush and then I'm gonna set my makeup with this and this set your makeup but it doesn't take away the glow which in the winter i'm all for the glow and as you can see my highlighter is still present so that's what i mean with it doesn't take away the glow for contouring i don't have any um, new product to show you guys i'm still using the um matte half from the Copacabana bronzer from Imani and I'm using it with my trusty old Real Techniques brush and this is the stippling brush nice and contoured for bronzer, however, I do have a new product to show you and it's from Inika as well. It's the Sunkissed Baked Mineral Bronzer and it looks like this 
which is a perfect match for my skin color. They also have a darker shade, uh, which is way too dark for my skin color. So I'm gonna use this one. So I dip my brush in it quite lightly because it's quite a pigmented bronzer and I don't like to overdo my bronzer so that's why I'm quite careful and I just put it where the sun would naturally hit my face nice and bronzed I wish it was summer I really wish it was summer it's rainy right here in Amsterdam. It's rainy, it's gray, it's dark and it's cold. So um, yeah, I really wish it was um, summer and I can't wait for spring to start. Um, but that's the size up to the bronzer. Bronzer always makes me think of summer and I really want it to be summer right now. Um, I also have a new blush to show you, which is also from Inika. And this is their Pink Tickle Baked Mineral Blush Duo. Let me show you. So it has two sides, a light pink and a dark pink. There we go, now you can see it. And they both have a bit of shimmer in there. It's not very glittery, it's just a nice sheen. If you want to see fresh swatches from them separately, uh, you can click on my blog post below because I also don't swatches, so. Uh, you can just tr scroll through the blog post and see the swatches. What I like to do though is... Um, hey. Alright, I'm back. I forgot my blush brush. And uh, it's very difficult to apply blush without a blush brush. So, got it right here. Um, what I was saying is that the tickled... Um, I like to use this blush um, I mix the two together so I'll just um, oops, I don't want to blind you I'll just gently or very lightly yeah tip my brush into the pan and then I apply it to the cheeks of my to the apples of my cheeks and a bit towards my cheekbone And that gives a really nice flush of color. Then, like I said, I am gonna use both the liquid and the powder version of Becca Moonstone. So this is it. Now I'm gonna use the powder version on top with a fan brush. And that really gives the nice glow that we like to see. Look at that glow, I love it. Then um, for my brows, nothing special or new here. I'm still using the Brow Artist Plumper from L'Oreal Paris. Um, if you have any brow, um, brow gels uh, with a tint and you think that would be amazing for your brows on a light, then please let me know and I will try them out. Uh, because I'm currently looking for a new one. I am very pleased with this one, but I want to try others. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below and I will check them out. Um, not going to do brows in the viewfinder, so I'm going to look at the mirror right here. Oh no, I spilled quite a bit of let me try to fix it all right brows didn't go as I expected I, I yeah um, okay I'm just gonna deal with it to my yeah from my perspective they're very bold but um, yeah, maybe when I'd have done my eye makeup, they're not very bold. But um, yeah, that's life. And sometimes something doesn't go as you expected. Um, yeah, let's ignore the brows. We'll just go on. Uh, because for um, eye makeup, I had something very cool. Because I participated in a bourgeois 
um, giveaway and I won the Unleash Your Catitude cat box and in it we have a um, an eyeliner and a mascara so I'm gonna try them out for you today so I'm first gonna do the eyeliner and um, I'm actually going to write a blog post uh, about these products on Wednesday so stay tuned Wednesday there is a blog post coming for you uh, so this is the tip of the um, eye pencil and I am going to attempt wink liner I don't do this often so I'm not gonna do it on camera uh, or at least not in the viewfinder I'm gonna use this mirror here but I don't know if I'm visible at all um, I'm gonna try though so um, stay with me all right so one down now I have to match the other one which is the biggest struggle. I'm gonna try. All right, this is the best I can do. <laughs> um, and it's also the reason why I never attempt wink liner in the morning when I have to go to work and I always rush. Uh, I always have to rush in the morning. So um, yeah, this is the best I can do. But I find that um, this is a very sturdy, like almost like a permanent marker kind of tip. Uh, it's a felt tip and I really like it because it's precise. Um, and I have very... Um, yeah, I have a lot of control uh, when I apply the eyeliner, uh, considering I'm not very good at it. Uh, and I managed to do it without smearing um, everything everywhere. Um, so yeah, quite pleased. Very, very pleased with this one. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of coal in the waterline and maybe also a bit underneath my eye because I always find that there is a little bit of space between my lash line and uh, the eyeliner that I applied so I'm gonna do that and um, yeah I'm gonna do that again here in my close-up mirror I find that um, this, by the way, is the Le Crayon Cool uh, Number One Noir from Lancome, and I always find that it defines the lashes a bit more. All right, now I'm gonna curl my lashes, and then I'm gonna try the uh, new Bouchoir mascara. curled my lashes and I'm gonna use the new Bouchoir mascara it's the eye-catching uh, opening eye-opening volume uh, mascara so let's see what the brush looks like uh, it's a quite a weird brush weird shape and it has long bristles and short bristles so I'll have to see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna just apply my mascara like usual. It's quite a big brush actually when you compare it to your eye. So I am curious to see how the bottom lashes go. Um, you get quite a lot of mascara on your lashes. Um, but that's a matter of taste uh, if you like that or not. And I find always, always find with um, when I apply my uh, liner, I always like to apply a bit more and a bit thicker layer of mascara. So this one, I probably don't have to go in with the second layer. That saves time. Let's do the bottom lashes. Just touch them. So that's one eye done and one eye. I still have to do. I'll come a bit closer. 
I like it. I really like it. I have to get used to the weird shaped brush though, but I think once you get used to it, it's a very nice mascara. Oh, I smeared something. That was to be expected because it's a big brush and I have quite long lashes, so I expected to smear at least something above my lash line. So that's my mascara done. I'm gonna wait for the smeary bit to dry and then I'll can, I can flick it away. But in the meantime, I don't have a new uh, lipstick to show you guys. So I'm gonna use an old favorite, which I wore so much during last spring and the spring before. It's the Pink Gold Obsession Colorish Lipstick. So I'm gonna do that and wear it now because it's matching my jumper and uh, it reminds me of summer. So I like that. And every time I apply the color, one of the Colorish lipsticks, I always remember how smooth they are and how nice they are. Look, it's almost finished. Let's get rid of this bit. All right. So this is the final makeup look. I really hope that you liked watching my video. If you have any products that you think she should definitely try them out, please let me know in the comments below and I will check them out. Especially brow products, guys. I'm, I'm looking for new brow products. So uh, yeah, I would love to hear some recommendations. And um, yeah, don't forget to like this video and comment down below if you have any products that I should definitely try. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification below so you get an update every time I post a video. It's on Sundays at 10 a.m. Um, it's Amsterdam time. So um, yeah, check it out. 10 a.m. every Sunday. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.